starting out. Uh, now, some of you know what an alpha group is, but others, uh, this may be brand new. So if alpha, if alpha is brand new to you, here's an introductory video that will tell you a little bit about what is alpha. Mike, go ahead and play that trailer, please. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions, like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? You know, I always just strive to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, would be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. That's our purpose, that's our meaning, that's our hope. God took something so broken and made it a beautiful art piece. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. No, no question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's. We are going on a journey together, an adventure to explore the questions of life, faith, and meaning. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. So, friends, this is uh, this is Alpha. Uh, now we are starting a brand new group, and it is among high school students. And this is wasn't prompted by any of the Agape leaders. This this just sprung up out of out of an idea. And Leah, how did you get the idea to start an Alpha? Okay. Um. So. Honestly, so I had done it my youth group, uh, Dioko, awesome, um, and I, I really liked it. So it was just an idea that popped in my head, like, I should start one at my school. And obviously, I shot the uh, idea down because I was like, it's going to have to, I have to put myself out there. What if no one comes? Like, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. And I popped in my head again. I was like, nope, not doing that. Um, and then I heard a lesson on God's voice, and I was like, oh, it could be, you know, maybe, and then... I, uh, she, my leader said, um, if it aligns with God's word, the Bible, then of course it's God's voice. And I was like, okay, does starting youth group at my church align with God's voice? And I was like, go and make disciples of all nations. And I was like, oh dear. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm doing this. So I went upstairs, marched upstairs and I was like, dad, I want to start an alpha. <laughs> and that's how it started. That's true. That's true. And, and it, it took me by surprise a little bit. Like, wait, tell me more about this. Because I was thinking, who and where? So, Leah, who are these people that you will be meeting with? And, and most, more importantly, how are you guys going to meet in this quarantine? So, it's with my online school. Um, we had uh, this Class of 21 group chat that we just kind of, you know, talk amongst a while. 
So I had um, asked some of my core friends at my school, like, hey, I want to do this. And they're like, awesome. We're here for it. Um, so I sent out a message in my group chat and I was like, hey, guys, like, y'all should come. I signed on a few of the promotional things for Alpha. And I now have a group of um, eight, including me, which is a pretty good amount because I mean, we're a pretty small school. And where do these people live? Oh, we live all over Wisconsin. I have people in Green Bay, way up in Wisconsin where her Wi-Fi is horrible. She lives on a farm. I have people in Milwaukee. I have people pretty much everywhere Wisconsin. You can name it. Okay. Uh, so, so, easy. Uh, so, Leah, how easy was it to, to start it, to set it up? How, how, tell me a little bit about that. Um, honestly, it was pretty easy because, well, God did most, if not all, of the heavy lifting. I just had, God gave me the idea, and I, was, all I had to do was say yes, and God provided literally everything. It was, like, everything just kind of uh, came into pieces, like a little puzzle that just all melded together, and everything just fit into place. He, like, provided everything. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Yes. Yes, I was. However, once I realized that God was in control of everything, it was this crazy moment of, well, we all know that I am an introvert and everything gives me anxiety. Leaving the house gives me anxiety. So it was weird. Like this calm peace came over me and I was like, God's got this. I have nothing to fear. And so that's what gave me the strength to Put something in my group chat which would normally give me so much anxiety but i was able to put it in feel good about it and even for tuesday i'm not even that nervous which is crazy for me because i'm nervous about everything so god literally provides for everything and if you trust in him he will give you the strength to not be scared that's just like our memory verse the lord himself will fight for you just stay calm exodus 14 14 thank you thank you <laughs> well done, Dimitri. Well done. Well